What's up guys? Uh, starting my video sitting down because I'm tired and I need a break. Um, so right now I'm working on some of this stuff. I'm gonna show you the tail lights that I'm doing um, with the diode dynamics LED rings, uh, sort of 911R style. And I've got a bunch of rust fixed, which you can see a little patch right there. Um, and I'll show you that and show you uh, all the cool stuff that I've done so far that I left off the video because it's too time consuming and kind of boring. Um, but yeah, we're gonna work on these. So starting back here, uh, we got this big patch that I did. Uh, still needs a couple welds ground down. Uh, there was some rust right here, which I just totally left that piece out. Cause it, you know, whatever, not a big deal. Um, and there was a bunch of rust right here and there was a piece of insulation like right here and a ton of sandblasting sand. So that's what's all over the floor right now. Then we got a bunch of patches here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to have nine, 10, 11, just in this little section. It is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, these look pretty good. They could use a little hammer and dolly work just from shrinkage due to welding. Um, so, not bad there. I got this thing halfway welded in place and it fits up beautifully. Uh, I had to cut a little slit there and weld it just to get these two lines to match up right. Uh, but I'm thinking it looks pretty good. Need to drill some holes here to do some spot welds. I'll show you how I did those right up you So basically these, I just drill the hole beforehand and then I just drop a little rosette weld, plug weld, whatever you want to call it, uh, to attach this piece to the piece underneath it. Um, obviously I made that piece. Uh, it just kind of looks a little better than the factory cross member thing. And I think it's stronger. Uh, made that piece because that's where the battery goes from the factory and I don't like the factory battery box that they give you and it was all rusted anyways. Um, this is sort of just an extra reinforcement along with this one. And then if we come out here, I still need to make this piece, um, but I'm waiting until I get my AN lines for the cooling system. Got a patch there, patch there, patch there, patch there and a patch there um, and then this one maybe one or two pieces and here you can see the uh, the holes that I drill for the plug welds uh, right here is where the coolant lines are going to come out and then they're going to route up here over the wheel and then down and then a bunch more patches one to go there and then one to go here and then Ooh, this one was a tough one right here. This one was complicated. And now I need to make some sort of double curve Johnny there and there. Actually, sort of a triple curve. More patches, patches, patches. See, this is why I didn't want to video all of it because it's boring. Um, gonna do the same thing I did over there, over here. Um, not totally. Uh, not totally sure how many pieces it's gonna take, but it seems like it's gonna be less than that side. But I could just be totally wrong. So now back here, uh, you can see, obviously I already got that hole cut. This one is drawn. Uh, the drill hole was there for me to use this body saw, but I think this blade is too fine to cut the thick metal, because this is a uh, maybe 16 gauge metal. Um, so I think that blade was just a little bit too fine. So I ended up using this little guy. Um, and it worked pretty well. So we got one of these. And it fits in there like that. Um, it'll get welded and then, you know, most likely shaved all the way down. Maybe leave a little edge because it'll kind of look cool. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then for the back side of this, I CNC cut these pieces mostly just because I'm lazy. And those will get welded right here. And let's do that now. 
And here it is. Uh, it's still a little bit warm. Whew, almost dropped it. So, got those two, the two smaller holes are for mounting bolts. The bigger hole is for the wire to pass through for the Diode Dynamics LED ring, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, I'm gonna grind down this weld because, you know, might as well make it look pretty on the backside. And then, uh, and then we can start welding it in. The weld, the weld makes it grumpy. There we go. Oh. Uh. Ah, oh, beautiful. And right here is the tail light that I'm gonna be using. Um, this is a Hella light that is similar, well, it's basically the same one that they use for the 911 Rs. Uh, typically there's this, and then there's a half amber, half red on the outside. I'm gonna be running two solid reds right next to each other. And then inside it, we have this diode dynamics LED ring, which also has a few other pieces right here. We got this, uh, the LED driver, and then just a little wiring harness. These are really cool. Uh, you can do, um, it's a ground tail light. I'm not going to get the colors accurate, but a ground tail light, brake light, and then a turn. The turn is actually 200% of the brightness, the uh, the brake light is 100%, and then the tail light is maybe 50%. Um, and then I 3D printed this guy, which I'll show you in a second, and it's gonna be glued down right there. And then this guy is gonna be glued on top of it, and it should work out nicely. Now I got this piece uh, contour cut and tacked in place, and then I just bolts it up the light real quick. Um, the bolts line up perfect, so that's good. Uh, it looks pretty cool. You can see it from the side. Then we'll step back here. And then you're gonna have to just imagine another one right there. But I'm, I'm liking it. It's a good style. Uh, I like the 911 R, um, but making the weird little like mid cutout thing that they have would just be difficult for me um, and this is just a lot easier so I'm literally doing this to be lazy but it's also making me different and like super cool well uh, I might have killed the air compressor because so it ended up just being a bad uh, pressure switch so got that replaced with a new one and it's all good now back over here I uh, got this whole cut and this one installed um, you will see that they are kind of opposite. Not a big deal. You know, should have paid more attention, but whatever. Um, so now I'm going to get rid of this thing, which used to be part of the rear reflector thing. Um, so I'm just going to use this light and find the spot welds, which are seemingly difficult to find, actually. And then once I find the spot welds, then I will use this guy and just kind of grind down where the spot weld is and move on. And then uh, a sharp chisel should just knock it right off. So here's a little progress on that. I did mess up a little bit on the first one and uh, went in with the chisel and it sort of stabbed it in there. So I've got to fix that. Um, these little divots aren't too big of a deal. Um, probably just throw a little bondo in there but there's a ton of these guys so got to keep moving towards the middle they start getting pretty dense like those two are really close there and then there's one those three are pretty close and then over here you know there's a decent gap so here's that all done I uh, hit it with the flap disc afterwards just to smooth down all the little little stubs that were left um, I also pulled a piece of metal that was here and here you can kind of see where the blast marks are um and basically i'm just gonna plate fill in this gap and combine it with this piece uh just to give it a little bit more rigidity because it's flexy um and just to make it look a little finished and then i'm also going to be making a plate for the bottom side of this uh, again just to kind of finish it off a little bit and give it a little bit 
So if you watched my 12 hour video that I just posted, you'll notice I did a ton of stuff, um, which was kind of right in the, in the middle of this video. Um, but I'm gonna go over real quick that everything that I did and uh, give you a little better look because I wasn't really going for anything like that on that long video. Um, so I got this guy cut, did three little plug welds, welded that edge, ground it down. Uh, we got this piece down here, which I think is pretty sick. Um, just a little filler panel to give this more stability. Um, same thing over here. Boom, boom. That guy welded in. Uh, a bunch of this stuff welded in. Um, maybe I ground down that. I don't know. We got the engine in, of course. Um... I welded this plate right there, which, hold on, let me grab a light for you. By the way, this light's the shit right here. M18 Milwaukee light. Honestly, I need a sponsorship from Milwaukee because I love their shit. Um, so yeah, that plate right there, uh, basically it's just to brace this crossbar to the kind of whatever this area is, which then also connects it into the tube work that I did. Um, this plate right here, that plate right there with the two holes in it is merely cosmetic. Um, the two holes are for the, um, the bulkheads for the fuel system. Uh, basically just to give that place a place to mount and, uh, keep it nice and clean looking. And then, uh, I actually just started working on this right here which is part of the rear seat delete. Uh, basically, it's just a piece of 18 gauge sheet metal, cut it out to fit, use the little cereal box template on the edges and a hole saw right there. Um, and for this, I'm gonna get some sort of, some sort of grommet or something. Uh, I'm not totally sure, I'll figure that out uh, just to seal that off. Then I'm going to make something similar to kind of go across right here um, we got the we got the slave cylinder mounted up I aborted the first idea which was this guy uh, I just really wasn't able to make it fit without doing massive modifications to the cross beam thing um, so I got this in there it fits pretty well, just need to do a little bit more trimming there and then kind of cap it off. Um, and then I'll probably do some sort of bung or something to be able to bleed it, uh, just pop a rubber cap off or something. Then this is the outlet line or the inlet. Uh, so I need to run a hard line off of there, down to there, and then do a soft line to connect from, you know, the trans to the body. And then, uh, Got the starter in. Um, had to do a little bit of clearancing for the starter solenoid, but it fits pretty well, so everything's uh, everything's in where it needs to be. So that's a good thing. And up here, did did a little bit here and there. I totally don't remember because you know I was dying the whole time. Okay, so I lied. That little outlet right there that I thought it was is actually just a little bracket for the uh, whatever but this is the outlet which is way more convenient um, so I'm just gonna run a hard line right off of there come down the trans um, and then the line for this I'll probably run down through the center um, as far as the brake lines and fuel lines those will probably be run actually under the vehicle um, which isn't a huge deal because I'm not going to be very low and I'm going to have some big side skirts going down um, and maybe some underbelly, you know, whatever, arrow shit make me go fast. So I got this rear piece welded in. I made a notch there and I'm going to make a little bulge for this to clear. Um, I want to be able to make sure that I can remove the starter without dropping the whole drivetrain. Um, Put a hole here for the uh, for the slave cylinder bleeder, which will line up like that once everything's bolted together. 
Um, and basically I'm gonna be making an aluminum panel for here later. Um, and then doing rivet nuts along the edges and I'll probably seal everything up with some sort of weather stripping or something along those lines. Um, but I need to grab some aluminum to do the panel. <clears throat> Another thing, make sure you prime the panels before you cover them. Otherwise, you don't really have a way to get there afterwards and uh, it could lead to rust later on down the road. And then you'll be redoing a bunch of stuff that you've already done and that's no fun. And that is all for right now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I got a lot of stuff done, especially on that 12 hour video, which I'm assuming none of you are gonna watch because it's 12 hours long. Uh, but if you do watch it, thanks a lot. You're, you're the shit. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and let's party.